128 gigs. For all of the, but, but, you're not going to need more than 16 gigs for the next five years. <laughs> well, if you don't go to DDR5, you won't. <laughs> Why is making I you want, slow? I want the drugs you're all smoking who say that. <laughs> I seriously want share, man. You you can't come to chat without sharing. Yeah, I saw the voltage has also decreased as well. Yeah. 1.1. 1. 1. If you guys think, if you guys honestly think that 16 versus 32 is going to be the argument in two or three years, I got a bridge in Brooklyn to sell you. There you go. Let me put it this way. Yeah, We've all seen what's happened to DDR4 prices in the past year. They have optimized DDR4 production. Yep. They have made it cheap. Yep. It's probably about as cheap as it's ever going to get at this point. It may get a little bit cheaper, but we're not going to see 64 gigs of DDR4 at 100 bucks anytime soon because it will get replaced and they'll start shifting over to DDR5. Correct. Now, caution. The first year DDR5 is out, expect it to cost more than what DDR4 currently costs. Oh, well, Yes. And DDR4 did the same thing. When DDR4 became mainstream in 2015, it was more expensive than DDR3, which is why the first generation of Skylake boards, there was an option to put DDR3 on them. I had one of them. An, an H170 Skylake board, it's actually still sitting upstairs that has DDR3 on it because DDR4 was expensive. And so they made the first generation yeah, of boards was, that would work with DDR3. Yeah, I remember that. So... We may see a couple of dual compatible boards. We may not. But oh, don't be shocked. Be 16 gigs has been pretty standard for many, many years. But we've been on DDR3 and DDR4 Correct. for a long time. Correct. How would chat respond if I told them that in the next three to five years, 64 gigs becomes the new 16? Oh, it will. Especially with, like, flight sim. I mean, if games are headed in that direction, I mean, two... And Unreal Engine 5. Two petaflops on... on petabytes. Pe petabytes. Two petabytes on... Um, two petasomething. Two petasomething. I mean, a lot more games are going to go that way. You're going to need some computer to run all that. Do you know what else you'll need a lot of RAM for in your desktop computer? With the new game consoles having those super fast SSDs, they only have 16 gigs of RAM, but they do texture streaming off the SSDs. Yes. Your PC doesn't have it, and frankly, your PC isn't going to get it anytime soon. The manufacturers are not going to mandate that everybody have PCI Express Gen 4 NVMe drives to physically install your games on anytime soon. That just isn't going to happen in the PC world. So the counter solution, the way you get around that, yeah. about having slow storage on the PC, yeah. is you need more RAM to preload all the assets into RAM. Yep. So the console has 16 gigs, but you'll need 64 gigs on the computer because you won't have a 5 gigabyte per second Gen 4 special NVMe drive like the PS5 does. Mm -hmm. That's how they'll get around it, is they'll increase the RAM requirements.